All right, here's that uh, beautiful flounder, uh, fluke actually, that's uh, spring flounder. Got a little bit of bone in here. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that out. And uh, like uh, Sean said at Grossman's, it'd probably cook out, but we won't take any chances. Again, I'll save all that scrap and we'll put it in our stock for later. So uh, I'm gonna have my seasoned flour, salt, pepper, a little paprika in it. What I do on all my sauteed fish, a little bit of Worcestershire. Just a little bit. Mainly for the color. It's got a lot of nice flavors in it too. So then we'll put, uh, I like to use a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit of butter. The seasoned flour. And I was talking to Bob, Bob Jacko, Bob Jacko Productions, my friend from Charter Cable. He went through the internet or through the uh, internship there when I did, and uh, Bob's gonna get involved with me with the uh, Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. He loves music, he loves food, and uh, had his own farm and grew herbs, and he he's knows. He knows what it is to go from the farm to the table. But here, uh, so we've got our skillet. Not smoking hot, but hot enough. And uh, lay the filet in. And uh, Bob and I were talking, you know, it's important to not over prepare fish. You need to let the fish, the natural flavor of the fish come out. I was just up in Jamestown, Rhode Island at uh, Zeke's Creek uh, Fish market right on the uh, right on the river there and uh, he had some sushi that he cut up his daughter loves sushi uh, his daughter Sam and uh, he cut up some beautiful fresh salmon beautiful fresh scallops that had just come off the boat and uh, some uh, some tuna the most beautiful tuna and simply just rub a little wasabi uh, sauce gold wasabi sauce over it Dipped it in some real good, high-quality soy sauce. And I'm telling you, it was the best, best fish experience I ever had in my life because the natural flavors of each specific species came through. And I think that's really important with you when you're cooking fish. You know, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of butter, a little bit of wine, maybe, a uh, little, little bit of some capers, and that's it. Not even capers. Capers are kind of sometimes overpowering, but I use it in piccata. But here what I'm going to do with this fish, we have some fresh blueberries, which you never, nobody ever uses blueberries. So I'm going to do a, just a quick little butter sauce with some blueberries to put on this fresh uh, fluke. Thank you. Okay, now, see, yeah, I don't even turn it over, I can tell it. See, it's getting golden and crisp around the outside. Flip it over. See, look at that color, the paprika, the Worcestershire. What a beautiful color. And that's it right there. Now, like, like I was talking about, most people overcook fish. You want to pull it out of the skillet when it's like three quarters cooked because the, the residual heat will finish cooking it. What I'll do here, I'll put a little bit of blueberries in there, a few blueberries, beautiful, the season. These are all from Canadian, but they're beautiful. Cut it for one minute, Bob. Okay, so we'll do take the fish out of the skillet. I hit it with a little white wine. A little bit of whole butter. See that butter thickens, makes the sauce. I'd 
that's it. See how some of the skin came off the blueberries? Yeah, it came white. But look at that. How's that look, Bob? That's a creation there. Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. Fluke with the blueberry sauce. Blueberry butter sauce. I'm going to try to get a fork and try this out here. Because it's a first for me too. I've never really cooked anything with the, the sauce with blueberries, but you know they're in season now. You get the, the real clean flavor of fluke coming through. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to try it, Bob. Wow. Mm. See, now you thought you could only put blueberries in pancakes, didn't you? But here, Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. We're going to utilize them with seafood. That's our game. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you to Grossman Seafood showing us how to fillet down the uh, fluke. And Sean are taking the time to. Uh, let us into his establishment, and most places are afraid to show you behind the scenes. The roast been so clean, and uh, the fish is so fresh. It's a pleasure to do business. Thank you, Mary, very much. Bon appetit.